everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video. It is I, the fish, here today. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, today we're playing Minecraft. It's it's good. It's good stuff. Um, let me see if I can change my perspective real quick. There we go. Um, so in the last episode, we got mauled by a dragon twice. Literally flew into me tw two times. Well, I was trying to make the intro, and now. Not only is there a dragon above us, but there's one directly below us, because off camera I did some digging and uh, dug down to this area right here. It's actually very nice, this area, because this is very tall, like the stairs down, and um, I found a bigger dragon. A bigger dragon, believe it or not. There's, <laughs> I didn't expect there to be one, but there's a bigger dragon straight down there. Do you see that? That's a wing, and that's all I can see through that little hole. I'm not gonna wake that dragon up because, as you all know, I, I'm not the dragon board. I'm not no dragon slaying machine yet. Of course. Um, anyway. So, yeah, you may be wondering what I've done off camera. Um, literally, built this thing. I died a couple times. Um, not at the hands of the dragon, of course, but at the hands of random mobs, specifically. Um, yeah. Well, anyway. <laughs> This dragon is a big issue, right? And we really can't leave the base at all, so um, I need to start farming and stuff, which is something that we need to start in this episode. Which I actually did some work off camera as well, and uh, dug this out, which this is the dragon nest. Right? Yeah, the literally, I, I dug into the dragon's nest, and um, not only did I dig into it, I also dug underground beneath it right so i'm going like <laughs> the dragon hasn't come back yet and we might as well take its gold while we're here <laughs> just joking i'm not gonna take its gold because it's gonna come back for that at a later date and it's probably gonna completely maul me and destroy me like it did the first 10 times <laughs> yeah but dragon it's a big issue um we need to fix that at some point in the near future, hopefully, because if we don't, it's game over. <laughs> like, literally, it's just sitting on top of our base, waiting for us to come out, and although we can come out, the likelihood of it getting me is very high, and I I'm not happy about that, so, yeah. Alright, anyway, I'm gonna work on this farm idea. So, I'm gonna build a small farm, because it doesn't need to be big, um, yet. Literally, all I need is just to create some wheat and stuff, so that way we can survive for a bit longer. And, um, while that's going on, I'm gonna look at what else we can do, because... If we're gonna fight a dragon, we need to get some practice in. And might as well get our practice from something useful, like, um, battle towers. Oh, wait. Can't we... I think we can move items, can't we? Hold on, let me check that real quick. Um, I need to take off my shield to see if I can do this. No way. Oh, let's go. Alright, so I, I almost forgot about that. But we can move mob spawners. It, it works like that. We, we can have a mob farm down here, too. It's like a blaze farm in the overworld, believe it or not. I've done that in several of my other YouTube series. Um, but none of them lasted very long, usually, because I got bored. My last series didn't last long. I got bored. Yeah. So I have an issue of getting bored. So what? Um, anyway. Alright, so what I'm going to do real quick is um, set up this little area right here. Now what I'm kind of afraid of is that, that cobblestone wall. The dragon's just going to fly straight through it. And it's just going to destroy our whole base that we've just built. Like literally just built this um, last episode. And yeah. No, I don't think the dragons can fly through charred cobblestone, though. So maybe we can use this for the outer layer, and then have the inner layer just like this, cobblestone. Because this charred cobblestone, it looks very nice, indeed, compared to most of the other stones. It's just like a darker one. And the charred dirt's pretty good. And grass. <laughs> yeah, and as you can hear, the dragon's just so annoying. It's literally sitting up there screaming at us basically 
Um, let, let's quickly smelt our next purified water, by the way. Um, we're not running low on water, I don't think. Okay, we, we have, like, three bottles, so... Running low on water, not an issue. We have an infinite source of it right here. Just, we can stick a bottle in and grab it. Um, I think we need to do some mining because we need to get some more resources um, if we want to fight that dragon. Now, I don't know what weapons we can even use that are able to kill a dragon. This is not like... <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. These are big mythical creatures that I I've never beaten before. Um, I think we're gonna need an enchanted sword, definitely. Um, probably diamond sword, of course. Um, so let's, we need to get 24 diamonds, which I can do by the end of this episode. Or, more than 24, probably like 32. That'd work. Um, and then we could probably beat the dragon. And then we can be good and happy. But, who knows, maybe we, we won't be good and happy. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to let this creeper over here, and then we're going to completely destroy it. I'm too good. You can't beat me. <laughs> Alright, we got some coal. Okay, that's okay. Um, oh yeah, I also killed a golem, which spawn killed me several times. Off camera. Um, so this golem, it drops, like, uh, stuff to get you started with the dwarven stuff, which I'm not really ready to do yet, because it's tech, and it's, tech mods are big. You, you don't just jump into them ready to go, um, except for in my last series, I jumped into all of them. <laughs> I, I actually didn't gizzo all of them in my last, or my previous series, before the last one. Anyway, so as you can see, that's the dragon cave of doom um we're definitely not going in there yet um of course it's a good source of diamonds isn't it because there's emeralds and stuff there too so maybe it's got plenty of diamonds there for us to go loot and then we can just sneak past the dragon until it finds us like the plot of a, that's that one movie with the dragon and the gold <laughs> literally every movie with the dragon and the gold Alright. This is good. Um, ooh, look, let's go. It's pretty deep, too. What's that stuff? Oh, I know what that is. Oh, yeah, we also gotta be careful, because, um, you can die from heat, and lava is, is gonna create a lot of heat, unfortunately. This is too real, this is, like, realistic, just... No, too realistic, you know? Alright. I don't need to worry about the dragon down here, do I? Because it's sleeping. It's it's not big of an issue, is it? If it's a sleeping dragon? Which is worse, the, the dragon on the surface or the giant dragon below us that could wake up at any second? Definitely the dragon on the surface, but... Yeah, what is that stuff? That's, that's fascinating. I've never seen that before. I've not played this mod pack that much anyway, so... We're gonna find out what that is. Um, in a second. Because I'm now going full speed ahead. Trying to get down there to find out what it is. There better not be a hole in there where that big dragon can see me and just go... Roar! And then destroy me immediately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's my worst fear right now, is that the dragon's gonna wake up and it's gonna completely destroy me. So, it's not that bad. It's not a, that's not bad, is it? That seems completely reasonable, considering it's a, really a giant dragon that we didn't know was below us. So, like, we have two dragon's nests. We got the one beneath us and the one above us, which is... Yeah, I'm, I'm obsessing over the dragon right now. The... <laughs> Anyway, if you know how to take down a dragon, leave your comment section in the leave your comment in the section below. I'll read it because that's what I plan on doing. I do that to every single comment. I get like one comment every video, and uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna read all of the comments on this video, which suggests, um, which will suggest hopefully 
what I should do about those dragons. Um, now, I actually have my own idea, which is to lure one in and then trap it inside of a giant cage. Because it'd be easier to beat if it's trapped, you know? Like, kind of like how in Skyrim, you like... <laughs> You go after the um, that one dragon, the snow dragon, and then like, so once you get that snow dragon, it's like, um, what is that called? Um, you trap it, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I lost my train of thought because I was looking at that thing, <laughs> the stone that I just picked up. See, these dragons are completely annoying, and, you know, even if I can't get rid of it right now, it's still going to make a lot of noise. Even if it can't hurt me, it's going to make a lot of noise. No, it actually is probably destroying the landscape above us, and destroying our trees, which I don't have any saplings, so I can't regrow them. And what is that? Is that blood? What? I don't remember if I have that mod installed, but... I think I may know what that is. It's probably like, um, you know what? I'm gonna just Google it inside my search bar. At so the wizardry one is Electro Bob's wizardry. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, sorry, I just dropped a shark. Electro Bob's wizardry. Um, this one. Where can I can I mine those? I'm pretty sure I can mine the gemstones. Anyway, um, it shouldn't take that long. Let's go ahead and check down here and see what else is down here. Besides that. Okay, there's the dragon's nest. And then there's some precious gemstones down here. Ooh! Oh, I guess we're down here right now. Alright, let's go back up real quick. Just so I can finish my epic staircase down. Which, you all love that I built a two wide staircase down here, right? Because I certainly love that I built a two stair two black wide staircase um, yeah now that we're down here we can just no let's not go down there yet because I just saw a baby zombie um, it's not good stuff it's awful stuff nope get out of here <laughs> yes you think you could beat me but nobody can I I'm too good at minecraft hashtag too good at minecraft okay you think, you think you're good enough? You think you're good enough to beat me? Come on, I got my Skyrim skills. Oh yeah, gotcha. Got him. Oh yeah, let's go. Look at that fresh experience. What is this? No, I can't mine it yet. <laughs> I, I didn't want to mine that because it was going very slow. And you know what happens when things go slow and you try to mine them. They just, they don't do anything. They just break. It's... There's nothing there. It's not good. It's not good. Um. Anyway. I. I. We're in a dark cave. A very dark cave. Um. I want to get some loot bags this episode, too. Um. We've gotten them in the previous episodes, but, um. I accidentally lost my diamond helmet, which I got from the loot crates, which was. It was so good, and then I, I just lost my helmet. Get out of my face, bat. What? Oh my god, that's the dragon! Oh no, oh my god! We woke up the dragon! <laughs> I thought that was a bat! Okay. Well, good thing it's trapped, because... It's gonna be a big annoyance if it's that big of a dragon. And we have to deal with that. How do we deal with a dragon at large? We can't even trap that. It's already, I mean, it's already trapped, but... You know, I got an idea. So, this dragon, right? He's trapped under the ground, right? So, what if we covered him in, like, lava? Or poured sand on him and then let him suffocate? We would literally win the fight so easy. We wouldn't have to do anything. The other dragon on the surface would then be, like, easy, because we have dragon scale armor and stuff that, that we can make from it. 
and then we'd have two dragons under our belt. Really easy. I don't know. I'm still gonna let you all leave your comments to decide how I take care of this issue, cause, um, we have two dragons and one dragon slayer here. <laughs> I mean, I, I could do an epic and just charge in with a shield and then lose all my stuff at the end because I end up getting mauled like I did that one time in the first episode while I was making my intro. Oh man, look at all this good stuff. So much loot. Oh man, I'm gonna be rich after this. Don't mind the, the massive dragon wing just sweeping through as we get, as we mine through all the stuff here. Maybe we could fight it, like if it clips its head through a block, and then just fight it that way. Alright, I could use a diamond pickaxe right now, but I don't think I'm going to get one of those. Go ahead and hide in this area, because it seems safer than the other area where the dragon could literally poke its head out and just... Rawr, and then just... I'm gone. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to iron and attacking. we're going to go try to fight this dragon, which is what you all want to see. Um, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to try it. Jeez, dude. Wow. There is no fighting this dragon, is there? Anyway, if you know from my last series, I didn't fight any of the bosses very good. What is this? What? Oh, wait. You can break it with a, with a sword. With your hand. Look, at, look how slow stone goes. What if we break this with our hand? No. Let's get a pickaxe for that. Maybe it's wood. Maybe it's, like, classified as a wood block. I don't even know what that is. It's weird. Alright, we got a pickaxe now. Alright, what are you? Just cobblestone. I thought it was gonna be an element that like we could use for magic. Anyway, I, I want to get a screenshot of one of those dragons. Like, just so that way we could have, like, that is the... the the, um, what is it called? The thumbnail? <laughs> the thumbnail is a dragon, like, just mauling through the wall. Or completely eating it. No, those dragons, they fly like bulldozers. And then when they hit the ground, they just <laughs> create a massive trail of destruction. Um, I don't think I'm gonna find any diamonds right now. I'm just gonna... Let's, let's go ahead and try this. Wait, what's down here? This looks like a good cave. I'm gonna go in this one. By good, I mean this one's probably got monsters in it and stuff. No, 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 no. Why isn't my mouse working? <laughs> Let me, give me a second, guys. I gotta completely bug fix my mouse. Battery. Boom. Ah, oh, let's go. Alright. So all we have is iron, but that's okay, because we can make iron armor, and that, that's better than no armor. Which, we currently are going with no armor, except for these ice mage boots, which aren't very good. Unless we were an ice mage, but I'm not a mage yet, I'm just a regular guy wearing ice mage boots. Um, Alright, so what would, we need, need, what would we need for ice wands? What do we need for this? Uh, apprentice ice wand. What do we need? Wand of frost. We need that. But what about a regular wand? Just a magic wand. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So we can just we just need a stick, a gold nugget, and a magic crystal. 
So we can make our first wand, guys. Tornado? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a tornado, too. Wow, this episode is too good. I'm not gonna lie, there's gonna be a tornado. There's gonna be all the fun stuff. We got giant dragons flying at us, and we got now a tornado. Well, guys, I think we gotta head up to the surface at some point. Come on, drop me some of those gold nuggets. Alright, we're heading up to the surface, guys, to go see this tornado wall. Oh, wait, we need to get our iron first. Ah! Uh Oh, I'm being fought by a skeleton. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, he dropped a loot bag. Do you see that? What is it? Oh, it's an epic one? Oh my gosh, I thought I jumped in the lava. It's currently flying in at like a million miles per hour. It's about to destroy everything. You know what's going to be good about this tornado? It might take away the dragon on the surface. Then, we only have to deal with one dragon. And we, we can be dragon slayers. <laughs> right above us is the tornado. As y'all can see, it looks like it's raining very badly, and um, I have particle effects for some reason, which are... Uh, um, no worries, guys. I just have weakness for three seconds. Th that's not that's not too good, is it? Don't worry, guys. Weakness? It's bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, Alright, let's wait for that tornado to go away. You can only sleep at night. Alright. So that tornado will take away the dragon uh, uh, for a bit, which should help us, because then we can get trees, whatever's left of the trees. And in the meantime, I'm going to make this wand of destruction. No, it's actually a wand of magic. Alright, so all I need is that, and then we can make a magic wand. Oh, we need to get this thing then. We need to get one of those crystals, which we can't really get this. Um, I'll have to do some research to find out how I can get those, because uh, all I can find is that you need... Okay, maybe you need a loot bag, but... Anyway, I'm going to quickly do that with my loot bag and see if I can get any of those crystals. A poison bomb and a golden chest plate. Well, that's... So let's put on that golden chest plate real quick. And then let's see if we can learn our first spell. Um, crystal flower? Oh, those are crystals, don't they? I don't know much about Electro Bob's Wizardry because I didn't really do much of it. Um, Alright, so all I need now is a spell book, which I have one, or should have one, and then we can. Cast the spell. No, we need to learn the spell first, don't we? You know what? I'm definitely going to need to craft that book, aren't I? So, off camera, I'm going to figure out how to do that. And uh, today's episode's been really great. We've been obsessing about a dragon, which is under us. And also, we've been attacked by a tornado. The tornado strike taking away the dragon on the surface as we speak. But um, hoping you all are having a good day today, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.